Can't go out. Uh, uh, I'm sick. As she battled bowel cancer, Dame Deborah James campaigned tirelessly. She raised awareness about the illness on social media, documenting her journey, and spoke about the highs and lows with friends on a podcast. Ever since the moment Deb was diagnosed back in 2016, it's just been her mission uh, to try and educate people and, and, you know, via all the silly videos on Instagram, the dancing videos, the poo costume, it was all about educating people. There are thousands and thousands of people, and I'm not exaggerating, there are thousands and thousands of people that are alive because of Deb. In her final months, she raised over £7 million for cancer research and was honoured with a damehood. Deborah James became a national figure and encouraged others to get checked out. The way that she approached talking about bowel cancer, it, it took away the stigma. She saved my life without a shadow of a doubt. Without her, um, I wouldn't be here today, I don't think. In the weeks that followed her death, bowel cancer referrals hit an all-time high. These figures show just how much of an impact she made. Between May and July, 170,500 people were referred for bowel cancer checks. That's up by 30,000 compared to the same time last year and a rise of nearly 80,000 from two years ago. The number of people checking the NHS website for symptoms also increased by nearly 200,000. The prognosis of bowel cancer changes significantly depending on when it's first caught. So if you catch bowel cancer at the earliest stage, what we call stage one, over 9 in 10 people survive for five years or more. If you catch cancer at the later stage, um, stage four, uh, fewer than 1 in 10 people survive for five um, years or more. So that's a really, really stark difference. Deborah James brought bowel cancer to the forefront of conversation. She undoubtedly saved countless lives and has left behind a lasting legacy. Aisha Zahid, Sky News.